Hey guys, welcome to the very first video of Far East of Eden. And that's why we're smiling. Smile. Uh, we wanted to talk about the five things we like most about Korea. So let's get into it. Number one is safety. It's very safe. Yeah, we feel very safe here. Like walking around by myself at night. It's very safe. They're probably more afraid of you. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like sometimes she walks in and then some guys like you know it's like they're, they're walking in the same the same uh, same sidewalk. It's like and then they just go around. Yeah, they go in a different time. But still, but still, it's safe. It's, it's very safe. safe. It's, it's very safe. safe. I mean, um, there was one one time I forgot my uh, card inside the ATM, and you know, there's this woman. She's like, "Hey, you forgot your card." I'm like. Oh, that's cool. Because I mean, you know, was somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, you, you, she could have went shopping easy. You know, did basically just fake sign something, and here we go. You know, she could have gone shopping. And um, I like I left my bag at the airport once. Well, kind of not inside the airport. I probably left outside. it outside. Yeah. I mean, we had so many bags. It, yeah. And I mean, it was on the sidewalk. Yeah, we just left it like you know near the taxi stand, and uh, we left it. And there was probably uh, about two grand worth of stuff, laptops and uh, medical stuff. I mean, it would have hurt. And basically, what, two days after, you know, we found it. We found it. And that's not the only thing. Um, her family came and they forgot their, their, um, their uh, luggage inside the taxi's trunk. And, you know, she's like, oh, I lost everything, you know, there were gifts in there. I was like, I mean, like, don't worry, it's going to come. And literally one day after, you know, we look yep. it up online and it's and like found lost it. and found, found and boom, we found it. And we even took a picture with the cops, you know, so mm -hmm. really cool. So it's very safe around here. It's, um, yeah, it's very safe. I mean, I ran at 2 a.m., you know, just just go jog at 2 a.m. It was at night, so it's just scary because it's night and there's nobody around, but... It's super safe. That's what we really like about, I think, first choice for why we like Korea so so much, right? Mm -hmm. And the fact that we also have two kids, we can let them run, like, mm -hmm. around. We can, like, let them run a little, like, few meters away from us without being like, oh, my gosh, I'm just going to grab them. Oh, my gosh, like, being worried. But I'm not, I'm not saying that South Korea is not safe, like, we come from a third world country, so we're yeah. still super protective. Even and... in America, it's like first world mm. country still, but you don't feel as safe, you yeah. know, because you don't want anyone to do something crazy. But here, you really feel safe, yeah. which we we really like. And we also live in Jeju, mm -hmm. so our experience is gonna be. Might be different than Jeju. Jeju. Yeah, it might be Not different than Seoul or something, which is a big city. Mm -hmm. Which uh, statistically probably will have some some stuff going on there. But where we are, Jeju, I mean, it's super safe. Uh, I we lost two bags. We got them, and everything was in there. I mean, you know, you, they could have just like lifted a few things, and it's like, hey, that was payment for getting your bag back or something. But no, 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 we got everything back. Everything was was fine and. I mean, easy money, you know, it's like we found the money there. And sometimes even when we're looking inside the, the police database to see if they found the, uh, the bags or something, you know, there's like, hey, here's a hundred bucks. You know, it's like, here's it, like they found a hundred bucks and it's like, wow, that's that's really cool. You know, it's easy. It's yeah, literally easy very money. Trusting mm -hmm. here. Like we have a friend. I'm not going to say who. But yeah, we have a friend like she literally lives the keys, the, her car keys in her car, she leaves the window down, and it just leaves for hours. And like, it's like, yeah, it's Korea. Like, it's Korea. Like, yeah. nothing is going to happen. Like, yeah, nothing is going to happen. That's true. But if ever one day, hmm. Yes, I mean, I, I'll still, still lock my... So my... far, nothing yeah. has ever happened, maybe to us or people that we know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, number one, very safe. Mm -hmm. Number two... People here are nice. Everybody that came here said, oh, they're so nice, always helpful. You know, they were trying to figure out where they were going. And, you know, they're like, oh, everybody tried to help us. Mm -hmm. you know? 
nothing weird or nothing crazy has ever happened to us here yeah. so people here are very nice i mean first day first day we came literally first day we just fresh out of the boat or the airplane <laughs> and then we went inside the we and we were lost it's like okay first thing restaurant we need a restaurant i didn't know how to read korean oh, i knew but couldn't understand nothing what is what we don't know and basically um <laughs> we were looking at a hospital <laughs> and then asking like is this a restaurant and this guy just comes here and it's like hey can i help you it's like yeah can can we where's the restaurant you know it's like he just come with me and you know we went with the guy and heck we even invited him and we ate with him like very first day so that was that was really cool and speaking of restaurants it's like what's cool is like people are very nice here and especially you got kids and especially mixed kids so very interesting looking so you get free stuff you know like um when it's in jeju there's a lot of uh tangerine. there's lots of tangerines in winter so time. in winter time so it's basically you go and you know some random old woman would just stop the car i mean you're walking and it's like here bag of tangerines or uh uh, you go buy some gimbap and then they're like here bag of tangerines or extra stuff you know the, the for kids the kids get free candy yeah like we go to the to the convenience store every time i go there it's like they come back with a lollipop you know it's like so and i know it's it's free it's called service which means free and you get free stuff you got a restaurant and they got extra like extra plates or uh, something like melons or something, you know, they give it uh, specifically to the kids. Just really cool, cool stuff. Yeah. And that's like, everybody's nice, you know, and um, yeah, we like the people there. And what else? Oh, some, sometimes they give money, man. It's like, yes, yeah. that they do. Yeah, that's cool. It's like, you know, the kid just, I mean, I'm just walking and we, we, like we said, you know, sometimes we get a little, a few meters away from us and, you know, the guy just stops right there, looks at the kid and it's like, Boom, here you go, money. You know, just like that. And, well, a guy actually gave us how, how much? Like 10 bucks? Well, that was, yeah, he was like, here, give us ice cream and then $10. So, free stuff. It's really cool. Number three is Korean food. Oh, yeah, for Korean food is good. First of all, you find I it love everywhere. Korean food. In the sense that, like, there's, if you go anywhere, there's two kinds of stores there's clothing and there's food. You know, there's a lot of food. Plus, there's convenience stores literally every two blocks. Literally. Sometimes the, there, there's a convenience store right across the street. You know, it's it's everywhere. So Korean food is like everywhere and it's really good. Yeah, I love Korean food. Um, mm. The one thing I like most about it is the sides. So basically, if you, if you buy one, like one thing and... It's not just going to be that thing. It's going to be like four or five sides. So that means like the fish or potatoes or something. And it's, it depends kimchi. on the season. A kimchi, yeah. It depends yeah. on whatever. But in some places, just give you a lot. Like six sides or something. Like you could get full by the sides only. And there's actually, my favorite food is called sorim jongshik. And it basically is all those sides put together. So you have like 12 little sides in, in front of you. And usually it is... Um, Free refill. So if you want something more, you say, "Hey, don't you say, oh, give me this." Usually, what I do, yeah. if you don't know the name, you just leave a like a little bit of it so that they know what it is, and you just ask for more. So that's that's really that's really good. I love those sides. And what, and what, what we like about it also mm, is no tip. You don't tip. Which sounds is, like cheapskate, but it actually makes a difference at the end. Yeah, because I mean, yeah. if you're in the U.S., I mean, I don't mind tipping. I understand, you know, but it's just like. It just you adds. give what you can, but this is what yeah. we like. But when you have to give a percentage, I mean, it's like, no. Yeah, it just adds to the bill, especially if you like to eat out. You mm -hmm. know, it just adds like to the bill. Like we do. Yeah, and so having no tip is like, you know, it's like you, you eat for 6000 about 6 bucks. You know, 6000 is just 6000 You know, it's not six uh, seven or something. So it makes it uh, cheaper than actually eating out somewhere else, like in, like in the U.S. And another thing like like summer like the best best thing to have is bingsu bingsu yeah bingsu oh is good so basically we spent a funny story first like first time we had it was like we were here like a year 
and you know we found this guy and he's listening to american music just by by himself and you know started talking to him and turns out it's the guy's birthday and he's from seoul he came to jeju and he's like i got no friends you know it's my birthday so it's like oh come on man and then we go and eat the bingsu but the thing is you know we just start hammering at it yeah, and the guy's looking at how. it yeah i mean what it is it's like it's like shaved ice and a bunch of stuff on top and like and the guy's like what are you guys doing you know you shouldn't, you shouldn't mix it. <laughs> but it is really well, good well it mm. first of all that time was the first time but we didn't quite enjoy it because we had a bunch of kids with us so they were like yeah. all over it so but the second time like i really feel in love with it is at the airport yeah. busan, busan airport, airport. so Sol, solving is usually the the franchise that we go to yeah. there, there's many there's yeah. many and it's really good and then good. once we had it i'm like i've been the hook so it's not that it's not that bad for you either i mean it's like it's mostly shaved ice so most of the thing is shaved ice like let's take the green tea one most of it's shaved ice and there's like uh the green tea powder on it and it's like there's two scoops of green tea on on there and there's probably the sugary green tea sauce that's you know but it's yeah. i mean it's a lot but at the end of the day most of it is shaved ice and it's it's it is really good and it's you know, amazing yeah oh, it's amazing if i knew about it when i was in the u.s yeah your mileage may vary though my, your mile, it depends on on what you take uh, sometimes the shaved ice is actually ice itself so it's not that good the one you want is uh it's still good it's, it's called a uh, uh, snowflake, snowflake. Nungot something something Nungot bingsu, yeah, it's so. made out of milk like yeah. shaved milk. because a lot of yeah. a lot of times it's actually just like shaved ice and it's really not the same thing yeah number four already oh yeah. man that's fast cheap medical stuff yes we got two kids okay two kids toddlers they get sick and um yeah uh we go to the doctor often and you know i remember my first time first time I th yeah it was an emergency and basically you had to call that uh the ambulance and you know it's like okay uh i'm just wondering how much this thing is going to cost we had no insurance so it's like i'm i'm kind of freaking out and then yeah you know everything's done and then i come to the girl and it's like how much is it and she's like uh do you have insurance i'm like no it's like do you have a lot of money i'm like, I'm like don't ask me this stuff and just hit me how much is it oh it's like oh 25,000 it's like which is 25 dollars i'm like ouch anyway. here you go you know and you know the ambulance was free um basically we uh, we rode on the ambulance like twice or three times for emergency because you know the kid was sick mm -hmm. it was free every time um yeah, and going to emergency, I mean, it's really it's really cheap. Sometimes thirty, seventy maximum. The only time it was kind of expensive was when we went in Seoul and there was emergency there. Yeah, we and went we went to, to the school. Yonsei, yeah, Yonsei uh, university. Uh, university. Something. Yeah, that time was like it was about a grand. Like, it was not a lot, but a grand. But I'm like, if I went to the hospital here, I mean, I knew I would pay like fifty or seventy. So. I don't know what's up with with Seoul. If it's a, the Yonsei Clinic that's like so high in price, I don't know. Because I've heard it was the the fact that it was a university thing mm. was higher, yeah. but still compared to the mm. U.S., it's. Yeah, I mean it's cheap. cheap. I mean we Extremely what? Cheap. You know, I'm. We went to doctor, dentist. It's like here, like thirty bucks a year ago. You know, it's like. And every time the girl's like, do you have a lot of money? I'm like, oh, no, I don't. It's going to hurt. I know. Oh, here, 10 bucks, 15. And the only thing is you probably, it's always going to be probably double the bill in the sense that you're going to be 15 for the doctor and probably like 10 or 15 for whatever they're asking you to go at the pharmacy. So uh, I don't know if it's the rules, but you won't ever get to, to, med like to, to medicine directly from the doctor so you got to go there you take a, a, a sheet of paper and then you go to the pharmacy which is usually like right there close to the hospital or whatever mm -hmm. doctor and basically you pay them but i mean it's never been like crazy expensive break to bank and stuff like it's like cheap medical stuff and you know uh western standards too you know um there's an issue about that we'll talk about the things that we hate about korea but <laughs> Usually it's like, you know, great healthcare, um, 
to kids get sick, you know, they got dental stuff. Uh, we got a bunch of, uh, he got his cavities filled like for 30 bucks, you know, where do you get that? I mean, great stuff. I love it. Cheap, cheap medical. Number five is the kids cafe. I love kids cafes. So basically, here's a question for you. You got two kids, you want some time for yourself. What do you do? You know, you got no, we got no one here. Like grandma's not here. We have no family here. And yeah, what do you do when you want some, 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 some time for yourself? The answer is to kids cafe. And basically what it is, it's like you hear, it's like, it's a cafe. So you, you get some, some coffee and stuff, but, uh, food also. yeah, some food too. But usually what there is like, there's a bounce house. It's like, it's indoors. It's great. Yeah, and uh, like especially when it's hot or too hot or literally this too year was cold, hot. This year was we often hot. go there, and you just pay by hour. Yeah, so yeah. so yeah, uh, uh, you will pay for two hours, probably around ten bucks usually, and some it depends on the model. Like the ones we go to, uh, it's uh, five bucks per hour. Multiply by two kids. Usually, we go for two hours, like twenty bucks, yeah. and it's so it's like yeah. bounce house things to play. I mean, to have yeah. fun, you know. Um, to one we like, it's called Nori Park in Wabuk, and I mean, there's a lot of stuff to just can play and make friends and play around, and you just sit there, you know. Usually, there's people there. And specifically entertaining them, you know, so, yeah. you know, playing with them and stuff. So what you need to do is just sit down, do whatever you're doing. And, uh, yeah, especially yeah. very good if you don't have any any help uh, parenting. Yeah, yeah sometimes what parents, like Korean parents would do. They just leave the kids. Yeah. Leave the kids there and just come We're back not there. We're, we're not there, but it's like. We're not there yet. Yeah, but it's like, I wouldn't do that. But, I mean, yeah. a lot of parents just, you know, here, pay for the kid and they just leave them. Uh, not there yet. Some of them, some some kids cafes, it's not like completely bounce house. There's also like, there's this one that's not here. I mean, not far from us. It's called uh, The Jungle. And it's really cool because what it does is like, there's lots of like um, reptiles. reptiles and stuff. Uh, you can play well, kind of pet. Yeah. So this this one is, is mm -hmm. free, but when you buy the coffee, it's like eight bucks, I think. So, I mean, understandable, you know, they, they put the markup on the coffee. But you know, it's great because the kids can just run around and play with animals and stuff and you get to technically enjoy yourself with your coffee and stuff. So yeah. kids cafe is really cool. Um, yeah, I, I, there's not this in the US. I don't think I've ever seen any any same concept. Nope. No. No. So we really love kids cafes. And of course, again, if we put that with the fact that we get free stuff, you know, it's like, hey, it's yesterday, we, uh, the day for his birthday, we went there and it's like, hey, it's his birthday. It's like, oh, really? Here's toy. You know, it's like. Yeah, so they gave us yeah. free, free toys. Yeah. And uh, like another thing we, we didn't say when we were there, it's like we gave them, I mean, the first place we were, they basically gave them, you know, free kinder toy, kinder joys and stuff, you know, just really cool. And uh, we really like loving, remember, when in 7-Eleven? The, mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so it's really cool living in korea especially in jeju okay guys those are five reasons why we love living in korea um i don't know if you're living in korea if you are tell us what you like and uh ask us any question that that you like this has been our first video so we might have made some mistakes and stuff so you tell us all right take care bye